Hey everybody, it's Jordan here, and welcome back to some more Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, now, I am just using this uh, as an excuse to record another video, be uh, and the excuse is, um, I actually know, wait, using what as an excuse? <laughs> uh, my reason for doing this excuse, actually, I phrased it all incorrectly. I take it all back, I, my, the, the thing is, the reason I'm recording another episode of this is because uh, I, I just want to drive trucks, and I also need to tell you guys that, um, well, I didn't do it before, so how about we just drive now? Um, that I am going to be doing some grinding in between like things like uh, if, you know, if we do finish your delivery I should make it as best as I can um, To actually stop there and this is where we left off last time um, I normally like to, I don't like to do that sort of thing um, Where where for example, I would just leave off in the middle of de a delivery and then I would and then I'd come back in, in like a middle of another one So I'd rather just like finish your delivery and then end the episode I think that would be like a better pattern. So I actually have to finish uh, telling you guys whatever I'm telling you about, um, which I don't know if I have one today. I, I mean, I mean the thing is, for example, like for being a YouTube commentator. Well, I don't know if it's always like that. I mean, I suppose some people, like for example, well, well I think Jumbo, if you've ever heard of him, he most well, I for for a lot of his videos, well, I don't know if it changed at all, but I believe last I checked, uh, he put music in the background of his videos for people to listen to. Um, while he played a game, and, and, and so he played music in the background of his videos while the footage was playing. That's what I wanted to say. Why couldn't I say it incorrectly? Uh, but for people like me, I need to talk constantly, and that goes for a lot of other people. Um, let's see, what are some examples? Uh, for example, uh, Jacksepticeye, well, that's a sort of stereotypical example, like Jacksepticeye, Mark, PewDiePie, not PewDiePie, I... Um, I think, I think my tongue is broken today. Oh, we gotta slow down. I do not want to speed. Um, I, I don't know if I talked about this before, but, um, actually, I've definitely said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Uh, apparently there, there's, like, speeding. You, you have to look out for, like, the speeding cameras in England. Uh, for places where you can go fast and slow. And I kinda wanna find, um, actually, I, I don't think they have the Nurbo Ring in this game. It'd be cool if they did, just, like, trucks around the Nurbo Ring, a uh, truck with a Bugatti Veyron engine, just, um, or just give it a little swing around the Nurbo Ring. Uh, but for those of you who do know what that is, you'll know that that is a racetrack, I believe, in Germany. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. <laughs> yeah, and if, if the text will actually work, I may show, like, I may show the word Nurbo Ring on the screen. Because the thing is, like, uh, I believe the second letter is a U with, like, two dots over it. I don't know if that character will actually function in Caden Life. Caden Life has a lot of things wrong with it, but I, it should work. I mean, if the computer can register it, that is. I've also noticed that I can't put in, like, uh, special characters. Or maybe that's just a Discord thing. Like, I can't do, like, for example, um... Uh, I, I don't think I can do alt backslash. Although, again, that just might be a Discord thing. I mean, yeah, it should work in the browser. I mean, I could test that right now, but that's not something I want to do. Hey, why aren't we going any faster? You're only going about 33 miles an hour. That's not fast enough. Oh, 34, okay. I wonder why we weren't accelerating. Perhaps we were climbing a hill. I mean, I, I, I thought these trucks were supposed to have, like, a million horsepower to lug all this stuff around. And there's something I want to that I just thought of testing now um, uh, once we get our own truck, and that is driving without cargo, right? And, and and that would mean hopefully that we can drive a little, uh, hopefully we can drive a little faster, um, be, because we don't have like a giant load that we're lugging behind us, right? It's like this giant thing. Wait, what even is in this? Oh my god, I am not good with PlayStation controls. And also for some reason this game is reminding me a lot of GTA 5, like the way it looks. It's like just like um, a third person character control. I'm pretty sure GTA 5 is like first person as well. Also, please let me know if you want me to play that by the game. I may be able to get in a sale, although right now I'm kind of pointed towards Kerbal Space Program, because that is something I want to get. Uh, although I only have about 10.54 on my Steam account right now, and and I believe um, yes, Kerbal Space Program is 39.99. So I need to, I just need to wait. Um, so I just need to wait until oh god, this is actually your exit. Um, so I just need to wait until it goes on a 75% sale, or get more money in my account, or if you're just like just $20 or well, I can get twenty dollars on my account, and then, um, and then I can wait till it goes twenty-five percent off. Although it, I think it's more likely to go, um, I think it's more likely to go seventy-five. But I, I don't really, really know. I think that more expensive games don't 
typically have larger sales? I, I don't know. I mean, I know that Outlast went for like 85% uh, off in the summer sale. I mean, I didn't get it then. But I definitely should get it when it goes on sale next. All right, 50 miles an hour on this road. Okay. Um, I think there's some other games that I wanted to get as well. Oh, yes, Ace Academy. Uh, how do we talk about that? Yeah, almost out of ideas. Oh, wait, we're almost at our destination. I, that's more important. Let's see. That's more important. Um, oh, I can actually do this. I don't have to use the mouse. Can I zoom in some more, please? Okay. So, I'm guessing this is going to be, yeah, 50 miles an hour for the rest of the road. And we're going to, somewhere in here, we're going to slow down a lot. Wait, could we have gone down in, like, here? Although this might have been a 30 mile an hour road. So, yeah, this is definitely faster. Wait. Where exactly did we come from? Okay, yeah, so we went from Aberdeen to Gaslow. No, I didn't say that right. I think it's pronounced Ga Glasgow. Glasgow. Like, I'm not going to be able to say that. Please correct me. Oh, good God. Yeah, we only have a little more to go. F four miles, less than six minutes, because that's just a game estimate from reality. Glasgow, Aberdeen. Yeah, so Aberdeen is this way. As you saw with the air blinker. Oh, God. Yeah, I was right. It turned 30 miles an hour way before I anticipated it. Good God. 30 miles an hour is so slow. Although, oh, sorry. It's, I, I, I keep flicking the place cheating. It's like this. And that's the other one. I wish I could, like, I wish I could hook up the, like, um, I think it's called right and left tab buttons. Yeah, so it says R1 and R2. Actually, no, R1. No, L1 and R1. Oh, God. I need to not break the speed limit. Good God. Hey, but we discovered the city. What percent is the map? Almost 9%. I, I, want, I, I want it to be almost 10%. Yeah, 10% is a good chunk. That's a lot of road. But if I've only, but I think if I've covered that much in like my spare time in only like, well, I'm guessing like almost 12 hours now. Others I only have, well, right now it says uh, I have 11 hours in your truck simulator. But I've got a funny feeling that um, when I finish this delivery, it is going to say, well, well, I guess when I finish recording, it's going to say uh, it's going to be somewhere between 12 and 13. Because I just realized that this delivery isn't going to be. I was going to make a proper video. I want it to be at least 18 minutes long, and I think that sounds reasonable. So we may have to stop in in the middle of the delivery, or we'll just pick a really short delivery, uh, which, which either one floats my boat. Whichever, whichever one works. Uh, whichever. And this should be downhill. That explains why it was so hard to get up. And this light is going to turn red before we get there. I hate it when that happens in real life and in this game. Is it going to turn yellow? Yeah, it's going to be a butthole. God damn it. Oh, that's fine, though. I mean, it, oh, wait. It got stuck again. Yeah, I don't like when that happens. Like, hi! Uh, what is... It's like super speed around! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. I, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the 8 key. No, it was 7. No, it was 8 for sure. Okay, but I'm gonna screw this up doing that. One, go, Billy, go! Uh, oh, voice cracks for days. Turn right here, don't screw it up. Oh, I forgot to save. I haven't saved in a long time, but I didn't check for damage either, so yellow. Actually, it would be, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it would be Yodo, because you only deliver once. I, I don't know if that's right. Oh, that was cringy. All right, let's not crash. I do not want any damage. Yeah. Man, hail, hail, it. That was extremely extended. All right, moving over lanes. Nobody really cares about that, though. I might as well signal this as well. Uh, can you please turn green on my way to light? Please? I don't want to stop. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, there aren't any cares going. Can I please turn left on red? Well, I suppose in Germany and the UK, it would be right on red. Oh, let's go. Go, Billy, go. No, oh, I don't... Wait, what is my truck driver's name? No, I'm pretty sure I called my truck driver stare or something. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure we can just look. Oh, I called stare at our 202. Yeah, that, 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 that makes sense. Uh, that, that would be my second guess. I'm not a cheater. Thank you. And I will now turn into here. Nobody coming? We're good in the hood, as they say. I don't even know if that's what they say. 
That, all I know is that was that extremely cringy. I feel like I've been in this sector before. Oh, or rather, section. And how much of the map? Yeah, 9%. 9% is not a lot. <laughs> oh, wait, the windshield wipers are still on. Okay, good. Left shift. And I will take that one, please. And I didn't use a mouse to click that one up. Right, so how about we try and... You know what? I see no reason uh, not to try and pack it with the controller this time. So why why not YOLO? This is a great screenshot, by the way. How, how about we just do that? It doesn't have proper lighting, though. Wait, it's early in the morning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can turn these off. Nah, just to be safe. All the other cars have their headlights on. Um, I want to get, like, a good driving truck thing. But that's really bright. Yeah, right there. That's not a bad picture. But do it! <laughs> that is a really interesting... Okay. But, but anyway, let's turn those back on again. Right. You know what? I don't feel... I, I don't feel safe enough. You probably heard that. That's not a nice story. I remember listening into editing. But because I'm in real life, um, everything is going to sound perfect to me. Because... Uh, be, uh, because, let's face it, human ears are bio. Th uh, which means that they're living, of course. And which means, well, I guess living things are more complicated, but they pick up better? I don't know. I would guess the more complicated things work better. Some, uh, well, for some things. One example is human ears. Well, I, I, do you think it'd be so, I think it'd be so cool if, if eventually someone figured out how to, like, uh, wire a human ear up to, like, a computer input and use an ear as a microphone? How cool would that be? And then you'd have, like, brilliant quality. It'd probably cost so much, though. Like for the, I mean, I mean, for other, you'd be engineering a bloody human ear. Ah, I need to change the steering wheel before I pop park this. A am I stopped? No. Okay. Two. My wheels are straight. Okay, good. Let's see if we can do this first try. Are we? Rev that engine. I doubt it's gonna work. Or maybe it will. Be optimistic. Um, this is not, I, I'm, I'm just trying to get it to orient itself into this position. I don't think it's going to work. Or maybe it will. It'd be great if it did. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, by the way, if you guys want me to continue talking about what I was just talking about, I won't be able to because I forgot. And we parked this. Yes. I forgot to do the bloody save, but it doesn't matter at that other point. Are we going to level up? Okay, no, I forgot last episode we leveled up. But you know what? That's okay. Because we now have $53,000. And let's save it for the time being. I can use my controller for this. X, save. I, actually, I can just double click on that and then I can press that button. It's fine. Uh, but anyway, let's go to. Let, how have we just purchased the truck? I mean, it's kind of making me like buy Ibeco trucks. And yeah, the dealer is located here. I mean, I don't know which one is the best. I feel like Mercedes Benz costs a lot. Because in real life, uh, Mercedes Benz are expensive as all hell. I wonder if there are any, like, more care dealers. Stock offer? Well, this one... Oh, good God. <laughs> Look at that price. Okay, no thank you. I'm gonna guess that that is the default one. And that is expensive. So yeah, this is a nice logo. Right, so what, what, So how about we just browse some more trucks, eh? Let's browse some trucks. Alright, so let's use O to move that. Hey, I discovered a new dealer. I don't know which one this is. Okay, how about we visit this one? Yeah, I don't think we've ever been before. I, I, mean, I mean, even like out of episode. I didn't even know this one was there. That's amazing. But look at the cost. I mean, this truck looks really, really nice. Granted, it looks bloody amazing. Good lord. That is beautiful. Okay, so I actually have to drag this across to the other side first. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful truck. I can't even use this other one, so, I actually, so I, it's probably better for me to use my mouse. That's a nice truck, but... Okay, that's really, really nice looking. Okay, so, so which one is the cheapest one again? I definitely want to buy the cheapest one. I mean, I'm not that I'm like trying to be cheap or anything, <laughs> but I do want to get a truck for a good price. So, uh, how much was this one again? So I'm pretty sure, yeah. So these two up here were a little over a hundred thousand each. 
Right, so, so let's go to this one. Yes, I want. I, I really do. I, I do. Okay, so only 96,505 euro. Alright, so let's see what this next one is. I'm pretty sure that is Volvo. I don't really want to purchase, like, actually, how, how did they, how did this game even get, like, uh, the licensing to use those names? Uh, perhaps it's, like, a sponsored thing? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure Volvo would sue them if they did that without their permission. Okay, so this, this is about the same price as the Mercedes-Benz, 101,000 euro. So I did make a good choice. Ibeco, this one, or I suppose you'd pronounce it Iveco. Ibeco, Iveco. It's it's the Spanish V pronunciation. It, it almost looks like a Spanish word. I wouldn't be surprised if this struck with like made in Spain or whatever. But well, I mean, I mean for like the game's lore. Uh, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. I know it's a little shorter than usual, but I j I'm just pretty much made this video to clarify that I am gonna be doing some grinding in between episodes, and it does help that we finished the delivery and we were able to see it here before. Um, so I can do grinding in between episodes. And I think I forgot my sentence there, so I probably screwed up a small But anyway, thank you guys for watching this one, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>